It feels really good to set goals and to visualise where you could be. It doesn't make you achieve them. Loads of people get this so wrong and they'll go, today we're going to talk about setting goals for beginners in CrossFit and these will also apply to you if you've been doing CrossFit for a while, you just want to get better at goal setting. I know that feeling so well. You've set a goal, you want to hit by new year, you want to get your first muscle up or your first pull up, you want to snatch X amount of weight before the new year you've not made it. It can feel completely heartbreaking. We can start to spiral into self-doubt and getting annoyed about ourselves because we've not hit a goal, but actually it's not your fault. It's more to do with the process of setting goals and how you set it and whether it's achievable or not. So I'm gonna talk you through that in a bit, but first I'm gonna head to the gym and get my session in. So I'll see you at the gym. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's hard. So nice and slow to the top of the knee, perfect. Extend. Let's get that bar to about your chest. You've got plenty of time. It's an empty bar. You can control that all day long. Yeah, that's fine. Very good. This is where you improve. This is how you get better at weightlifting. You pick one thing and you do it again and again and again. Your words have been so broken. I've been under your influence. I'm so done with holy ghosting. My birth it is an omen. Lay me down on the ocean until you see no motion. Right now I can feel the focus. I'm sure you know my motion. On your knees, show your devotion. My skin is black but golden. I'm not here for bragging, boasting. Ain't lying, I've been chosen. Mind is burning. I'm not expecting boxing. I'm not expecting boxing. Are you with me now? Said, are you with me? If you have that potential, you've got that ceiling to stand 885. I have no doubt about that. <laughs> I still want to do crossfit though. <laughs> <laughs> That's my problem, I'm holding myself back. Yes, that's what, yeah, that was good. That's how I'm stepping forward. Another big step to an actual best one yet. Yeah. Yeah. You see those feet on the floor. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine.
Just got back from the gym and had a bit of a cuddle with Arrow because I've just got some really sad news. Oh yeah, here's my Christmas mantelpiece. I'm really proud of it. <laughs> Obviously, I'm super happy that I PB'd my snatch. That's amazing and it's all down to Ben's coaching and me actually follow, <laughs> following his coaching and following what he's told me. He's just an incredible coach and so is Mike, the other coach there. They're awesome and that leads me on to what's happened. <sighs> She's making me feel better. The, oh, it's so shit. It's so awful. Essentially, the owner of the gym that we go to has decided to shut down the gym. It's because he's got another business venture or whatever. But he's given the coaches two weeks notice. That means they're basically unemployed in two weeks. And it also means all of the members have nowhere to go in two weeks. It means it's completely closed and we're just left without a gym. I totally understand businesses having to like swap and change what they do. And I feel like two weeks notice is horrendous. Like you can't give someone two weeks notice and claim to care about people because it's just ripped the carpet underneath a lot of us now. And I rely on fitness and training a lot for my mental and my physical health and, but a lot of it is my mental health. And that's gonna be really hard. I've now to find somewhere new to train and I've literally just found that place. It's the best place I've ever trained, ever. The coaching is amazing. And Ben's weightlifting coaching is top notch. He's one of the most qualified weightlifting coaches in the country. I think he's just getting his British weightlifting level four. He's literally amazing. If you want to do their programming and if you want to support Ben moving forward, he has a program called Sustain and Train Programming and it's online. He's an incredible coach. He is the reason I got 71 kilos today he's the reason i cleaned 104 kilos this year he is the biggest reason why i've pb'd 90 percent of my lifts in the last year it's insane so if you want good coaching and good periodized coaching from somebody that really knows what they're doing go down to the description and their program's called sustain and train and he's got lots of barbell coaching out there so have a look sign up if you want to improve your weightlifting i'm so mad i'm so sad at the same time We'll figure it out. That's a twist I didn't expect this video to take today. Hello! <laughs> She's very cute, but she needs a lot of attention. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs. So, on a cheerio note, I literally can't believe that that happened. I cannot believe that I finally hit 71 kilos. And although it's gonna seem like this is planned, I intended to go to the gym to do endurance class, which is normally like fitness. But because I was the only one in the class today, because it's like the middle of the day, my coach said, do you wanna do weightlifting? I said yes, because I felt like with the gym closing, I'm not gonna have that much time left to enjoy the incredible coaching that Ben gives. So we snatched and he said we're going to do doubles and we built up slowly. We had no intention or I had no intention of going for a PB today. And then Ben built me up to hitting three PBs in total. I hit, I want to, I hit two PBs. I hit 68, which was three above my one rep max. Then I hit 71 kilos, which is six more six more kilos above my one rep max. I'll put what that is in pounds on the screen for you. I'm I'm so happy about that. I have I've wanted to hit over 70 kilos for years. That's been my goal. And every year I'm like, by the end of the year, I want to hit a 70 kilo snatch and I've never hit it. This year I have, and it's not down to trying harder or doing anything differently. My goal setting is different. The way I go for that goal is different. I've not just picked a number and go, I want to snatch this. I've been smarter about it. Really good goals for beginners are to get their first strict pull up. That is a really good one. If I don't know your gym background, but if you haven't got pull ups already and you want to get onto the more complex gymnastic movements, then try and get aim for a strict pull up. If you can't do a press up yet, try and aim for a press up. Weightlifting wise, it's important that you know what you can currently hit and then you can aim to hit a heavier weight. But I'm gonna talk about how to set those goals in a minute. Getting stronger in your squat and your deadlift is fantastic for a beginner goal because that is going to build all round strength. You could also set goals to hit better depth than your squat or be able to do an overhead squat without any trouble with depth or your heels coming off the floor because then you 
will have to work on your mobility. Being able to perform those functional movements is really important and that will help you move forward in CrossFit. So those are the kind of goals that you should be setting as a beginner. But <laughs> loads of people get this so wrong and they'll go, so thinking about setting weights for the new year, a silly goal would be for me to say, I want to be able to snatch 90 kilos by the end of the year because I saw somebody else on the internet snatching 90 kilos and I think I can do that. Another example is saying, I want to get my first pull up or I want to get my first muscle up by the open or by the end of the year with no real plan or way that that's gonna happen, strategy, nothing going forward and no real realization of your own strength. So I've seen a lot of people saying, I want to get my first muscle up, but they can't do more than three pull-ups in a row. Now that's not gonna happen. You can't plan to go get your first muscle up without having the basics first. So if you can only do three strict or kipping any form of pull-ups, then setting a goal to be able to do a muscle up is too far there's too much distance between where you are now and where you want to be that is the first thing that most people get wrong 20 kilos is too big a jump to do in a year and especially if you're like by the open that's a couple of months away that is too big a jump and it doesn't matter how much you believe in yourself or how hard you're going to train your body doesn't have long enough to adapt for the majority of people unless you're taking some form of steroid which is not recommended don't do that we don't do that in crossfit it's too big a jump make sure you're setting your goals correctly because you'll just end up being disappointed all the time if you don't it feels really good to set goals and to visualize where you could be it doesn't make you a achieve them we love that feeling of like yes i want to do this by christmas or by the new year but it doesn't help us actually get there i've been reading atomic habits which is awesome if you're interested in any of the books i've been reading i always have my amazon list link below it teaches you how to build habits when we're setting goals we can't just set the goal and hope to get there we have to become the person that's going to reach that goal we have to do the things that that person would do to get there if i want to get my first pull up i need to become a person that trains gymnastic style movements specific drills and strength movements to get me to get my first pull up if i just say i want to get my first pull up and then don't do anything about it i'm not going to get there if getting your first strict pull up is one of your goals i have a video that has the progressions you need to do to get there so what i personally would do is go i'm going to do these progressions three times a week for the foreseeable future it'll probably take about six weeks to get there maybe more depending on your body weight your previous ability lots of other variables but it shouldn't take too long if you're actually following the right steps if i want to improve my olympic weightlifting then i need to become a person that does olympic weightlifting every week preferably multiple times a week if you want to improve your olympic weightlifting you either need to attend barbell classes or get on an olympic weightlifting program repeatedly work on your olympic weightlifting if you're trying to improve your snatch but you're never snatching because you're scared of it if you unbook from classes when you see that it has snatch on because you're worried and you don't feel like you're very good at snatch so you avoid it that's not going to get you better you need to commit to snatching every time it comes up you need to ask for help do what it takes to reach that goal become that person build those habits that you need to reach that goal for me i made sure i listened to my coach more i asked questions if i needed to i worked on my strength within the sessions i made sure i hit the percentages that ben set for me. I worked really hard on my technique. I reached the goal and this is the first time I've reached that goal even though I set this goal several years in a row because I'd finally started to actually do the things necessary to get there. When you're setting a goal you need to look at yourself and look at the reason that you're not already there. If you're trying to improve your snatch is it your technique or is it your strength or a mixture of both? If it's your strength, then you can quite easily work on your strength by adding in some extra squats, snatch balances, overhead squats within your program here and there or before or after classes. If it's working on your technique, then you need to get some solid coaching. You, maybe you need to start videoing your lifts and seeing where you're going wrong or get a coach that coaches you online that can fully analyse what you're doing and give you pointers. Or maybe you need to attend barbell classes. Look at what you're already doing and why you haven't got there 
and then fill those holes. So next, this one is super important for actually hitting those goals. It needs to be manageable. Is this gonna fit with your lifestyle? So maybe you've listened to my last tip and now you're thinking, oh my God, I need to add in like extra barbell classes on top of my normal CrossFit routine because I can't drop any CrossFit classes and I'm gonna do an extra program. I'm gonna train early in the morning. Stop. <laughs> Don't think like that because you are a human being and it needs to be manageable for you and your lifestyle. What is your job like? Is your job super stressful? Does your job make you exhausted? <laughs> How is your training going at the moment? It needs to be manageable in your routine. I train five days a week. One of those is barbell already and the other four are CrossFit. If I really wanted to improve my snatch, what I might do is drop one of the other CrossFit days and then do some Olympic weightlifting within that day. Three days of CrossFit and two days of weightlifting if my main goal was to get better at snatching. What I wouldn't do is try and add it on top if that wasn't manageable for me and it isn't manageable for me because I'm a teacher. So I can be quite exhausted from my job which means I can't add on loads of sessions. This year I have made that mistake by trying to improve my gymnastics by trying to add on 6am sessions in the home gym doing gymnastics training and it's not worked for my lifestyle because I've been more tired and I've also been skipping sessions here and there because I want to be in bed. My lifestyle is too exhausting to keep up with that kind of routine. I didn't make that manageable and that means I haven't hit those goals that I wanted to within gymnastics. Thirdly, it needs to be achievable. I've seen quite a few people online saying, I want to get like an 80 kilo clean by the end of the year and the end of the year is two months away. <laughs> 80 kilos is 10 kilos off their current PB. That is a huge jump in two months. You can't put 10 kilos on your weightlifting in two months unless you're a complete beginner. When you are a beginner, you can make significant jumps quite quickly, but that's because you're learning a new skill. You didn't have the strength before and strength builds a lot faster when you are a beginner. We shouldn't be setting those goals that high initially because you can start to get really disheartened. Set them at an achievable distance. So maybe that's five kilos. You want to add on five kilos in the next six months or over the next year onto your snatch or onto your clean. Brilliant, that is a good achievable goal. And then if you hit more than that, fantastic. That might not happen. If it doesn't happen, that's just because you're human and your body can't put on that much strength in that short space of time. You've got to cut yourself some slack. I understand the need and the want to make things happen quickly, but unfortunately that's not how progress happens. It is slow and repetitive and you have to, like the first step, build that habit slowly until you become the kind of person that works on that repeatedly and then you will start to hit those goals with ease and it will feel like you've not really done the thing because it's part of your routine. You've made it achievable and all of a sudden you're hitting those goals that you wanted to. Finally, this is a little lesson from a mistake that I made. If you watch back some of my older videos, I decided that I wanted to compete more individual. And then halfway through, trying to train to compete more individual rather than team, I realized I hated what I was doing. I hated training, I hated all of it. I hated competing on my own. I didn't want to compete on my own. I didn't want to do qualifiers. I hate all of that. <laughs> that is an example of why it's absolutely okay for you to change your mind about your goal. So many people set goals and they decide they want to do something. Six months down the line, they're hating their life. They're really getting annoyed at their training because they don't like it. And they actually don't really want the goal in the end anyway. But because they feel like they've said they're gonna hit that goal, whether it be online or to family members or to friends, they feel like they have to be committed to that. And that's wrong, <laughs> quite honestly. Like you don't have to commit to any goal that you set. If you wanna improve your gymnastics, but then halfway through you realize you hate gymnastics and it's starting to make you really hate your training, don't do it. Like reevaluate, figure out what you actually want and where you want to be and what sacrifices you do want to make to get there. Don't don't be so hard on yourself. There's a part of it which will feel it will it will feel a bit like you're failing and like you're not getting there. Failing is part of the process, it's part of the journey, and that is another form of learning. Failing is how we learn, so we've got to keep reminding ourselves that although it might feel rubbish right now, we are building those habits and we're working towards that goal. And you can't be hard on yourself along the way. Celebrate those little wins. Maybe start checking off a tally when every week you manage it. At the end of the day you can you can only do what you can do we all have different priorities in our life you've got to find a way of setting goals that fits with your lifestyle fits with your training build those habits around that goal that you want and you will get there
I totally believe that you can do it. When I started CrossFit, I was bad at everything. I was really overweight as well, and so I found everything really hard. And I've hit so many goals that I remember I set in the beginning. And the hardest for me were all the gymnastics. I remember it took me over a year to get my first pull up. It took me forever to get double unders. All of those like initial skills, it took me a long time to get. But once I started actually working in the right direction and working on those specific skills and movements, I got there. And that is all I've done since, as I just pick something to work on and build a habit, make it achievable, make it manageable for my lifestyle and work on it and you'll get there. And if my 71 kilo snatch is not proof of that, I don't know what is. <laughs> I still can't believe that happened. That's been so many years and I've just been doing it wrong. I've just not been working towards that goal effectively. And this year I've hit it. And it's, it's the 16th of December. So I've still got like the rest of the month to go. I'm not even at the end of the year yet. Yes! <laughs> it's gonna seem like that whole video is planned around me snatching. It's not at all. I was literally gonna go in to do endurance. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so that is how you goal set. And if you goal set properly, you'll get there. I am proof of that. In 2022 or whatever year you're watching this, you have got this. I know you can do it. Go and set those goals and figure out what habits you need to build around them and how you're gonna fit into your lifestyle and you will get there. This time next year, imagine where you'll be. I'm so excited for you. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you've had a fantastic year. I will see you in the next video.